Okay, so in this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how the Slingerland Retroplate joins up to a Trick GS007 multi-step throw-off to uh, be ready to be installed on your Slingerland snare drum that use the old Zoomatic throw-off. Those always seem to break and they're very hard to adjust. So what we're going to do is we're going to improve the sound of your snare drum. So here we go. So we got the Slingerland Retro Play, and if you bought just a single one, it should look something like this, kind of uh, uh, got four holes in it. So we've got a countersunk area right here. So we're going to use this flathead screw that came in your kit, because I believe in sending all the proper fasteners to uh, my customers so that they don't have to go after anything. They can just put it on, install it, and go for it. So we're going to put that in there, just like that. And, well, well, here's the trick throw off. We're going to kind of just get that in place there, if I can get my hands out of the way. And we're going to leave it a little loose there. And in this bottom hole, we're going to put the uh, long screw in, just like this. Again, getting my fingers out of the way. So we're going to leave that loose for just a second, and then we're going to tighten this top flathead screw up and get it tied in there and then we're going to take this and back it back out and maybe uh, maybe when you install yours you can uh, be able to move, remove it with your fingers and there you go now all you need to do is take uh, the batter head off of your snare drum and uh, loosen up the snare wires take the zoomatic throw off off and put that right up on there and then your screws will go right through the shell it's pretty slick and uh, I appreciate your business and it's always been my honor and privilege to serve my fellow drummers in helping them improve their their drum sound and if you need more information you can always go to dominoretroplate.com thanks for watching